Welcome to another video tutorial. In today's session, we will discuss what is 5x2 way solenoid valve. Therefore, stay connected until the end and make sure to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to stay connected for more upcoming video tutorials. If you visit any manufacturing industry, there you will find the pneumatic cylinders moving forward and reverse, creating a linear motion. That's why sometimes these cylinders are called as linear actuators. Pneumatic solenoid valves are the most important component in the industry to control the linear motion of the pneumatic cylinders by supplying the compressed air to the pneumatic ports of the cylinder. These valves comes in many of the type. Most commonly used solenoid valve is 5x2 way solenoid valve. Today we will discuss in detail how does the 5x2 way valve works and try to clear all doubts regarding 5x2 way valve. So please stick to this video until the end. 5x2 way valve have 5 ports and 2 positions. That's why we call it 5x2 way valve. No need to worry, we will explain all this concept gradually in this video tutorial. 5x2 way valve have 5 ports for the compressed air. One of these ports is P port. It is a pressure port where the compressed air enters the valve. There are 2 other ports, port A and port B. The pressure port is linked with either port A or by the port B when the spool inside the valve moves. So when the port P is linked to the port A, the spool blocks the entry of the air towards the port B. Similarly, when the port P is linked with the port B, the spool blocks the entry of the air towards the port A. How does this spool is moving? Spool moves when the solenoid coil is energized by the signal coming from the PLC. There are other ports in the solenoid which are exhaust ports. We will discuss these ports shortly in this video. We will now see how does this 5x2 way valve control the double acting pneumatic cylinder. To control the linear motion of the cylinder shaft, we will connect the port A and the port B of the sunlight valve to the ports of the cylinder with the pneumatic pipe. When the PLC signal energizes the coil of the sunlight valve, its spool moves and links the pressure port with the port B of the sunlight valve and port A with the exhaust port. This way the compressed air moves towards the port B and through the pipe it enters the back port of the cylinder. As the compressed air exerts the pneumatic pressure on the piston of the cylinder shaft, it starts to move forward because of the force of the compressed air. The cylinder shaft moves forward and gets fully extended outwards. There will be some air in the front side of the piston. This air will slowly leave the cylinder body and comes towards the port A through the pipe. Any existing air in the port A gets exhausted into the atmosphere as now the port A is linked to the exhaust port. When the PLC signal is turned off, it de-energizes the coil of the sunlight valve. Its spool moves and links the pressure port with the port A of the solenoid valve and the port B with the exhaust port. This way the compressed air moves toward the port A and through the pipe it enters the front port of the cylinder. As the compressed air is now exerting the pneumatic pressure on the front side of the piston, it starts to move in the backward direction because of the force of the compressed air. The cylinder shaft moves backwards and gets fully retracted inside the cylinder body. The compressed air in the opposite side of the shaft piston moves towards the solenoid through the pipes and get exhausted into the atmosphere through the port B. As the port B is now linked with the exhaust port and this cycle of solenoid valve to turn on and off will continue as the PLC is supplying the signal on its solenoid valve. 
I hope you like today's video. Do consider subscribing this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care, goodbye.